Hi, I'm Ripley Lewis. And I'm Braden York. I'm Serena Stastny. I'm Clay Giozzi. I'm Ellie Light. And I'm Cody Braden. I'm Kaylee Duncan. And I'm Alex Lance. Hi, I'm Haley Baker. Hi, I'm Dylan Gilbert. Hi, I'm Hannah Coakley. And I'm Carter Knapp. I'm Lexi Ross. <laughs> and I'm Parker Allison. What would your spirit animal be and why? Um, I'm going to be real original on this one and go with Parker's hair because uh, goals. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go with Parker's hair too because, you know, Parker's hair. My spirit animal would definitely be Parker's hair because it's abnormally different and it's good to be different. My spirit animal would also be Parker's hair because it's perfection. Probably Parker's hair because it's confident and confidence is key. Definitely Parker's hair. It's confident and makes me very confident in school. Well, my spirit animal would probably be Parker's hair because Parker's hair. Mine would probably be Parker's hair because have you seen Parker's hair? Um, probably Parker's hair, and um, I think it's pretty fierce, and I think I'm pretty fierce. So. You know, I'd, I'd probably have to say the same thing. Parker's hair is definitely my spirit animal. I'd have to say my spirit animal would definitely be Parker's hair because it speaks to me on a spiritual level. I'm going to have to go with Parker's hair. It would probably be Parker's hair. What will you do if you win? Um, if I win, I'm going to try to get Brown and Torrance to hit the whip and Nene with me at the dance. Well, if I win, I'm probably going to homecoming. If I win, I'll cry. I'll cry a lot, and then I'll probably flip out. Like, literally, I'll flip out. <laughs> if I win, I'll probably awkwardly be like... <laughs> Probably say that they should recount the votes because I wouldn't think that I actually won. Um, I'd probably cry. No, but seriously, I'd probably crowd surf or be very shocked. Okay, I would probably have a flash mob or pull a Kanye West and run for president. Uh, if I win, probably ask them to check to make sure they got the right person. And then I would thank my mom and dad for making this day possible. Oh, I think I'd, um, I'd get really red and feel my face get warm. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I would scream like a little girl. If I won homecoming queen, I think the obvious next step would be to run for president. I think I'd have some tough competition with Kanye West, but if I'm qualified enough to be homecoming queen, I think I'm definitely qualified enough to lead a country. And I'm definitely going to keep the crown till next year, come back around for the next winter, and fight them to the death over the crown. If they want it that bad, they can take it from me. <laughs> hmm. I would probably be a little surprised. There might be a little screaming, maybe a little crying. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably go crowd surfing. <laughs> if not, I'd probably do the Dougie or something. It's really old school, but I'd probably do it anyway. What was your most embarrassing underclassman moment? My most embarrassing underclassman moment was probably my sophomore year in Fundamentals of Engineering. And my guys in my group thought it would be cool to flex with an empty duct tape roll on their arm. So I thought I would try to be cool and do it too. And I put it on my forearm and it got stuck. And I had to ask my engineering teacher to get it off because it sw my arm swelled around it. Um, my most embarrassing underclassman moment was probably my freshman year when I had to apologize to a teacher for something that I did not do. <laughs> It was a rainy day my sophomore year, and I had to come to school with no shoes on because I lost them in the mud on Kelsey. That was pretty bad. 
my most embarrassing moment was freshman year walking up the stairs and actually tripping and falling up the stairs. Probably the time I tripped over myself and rolled my ankle during my volleyball game. <laughs> um, probably accidentally falling asleep in school and then like waking up and shaking my desk in front of everybody. It's kind of embarrassing, so. Mine was probably when Mr. Torrance took a picture for my photo ID and he was about this close to me and he said smile on three and he said one and then took the picture and it looks like my mugshot. Well, my most embarrassing underclassman moment. I didn't really have an embarrassing moment because I mean everything's kind of like whatever to me like it just kind of happens but um, I guess one time I was walking down the hallway and my backpack was unzipped and I had everything in there and it just like went everywhere. So I guess that would be my most embarrassing moment. Um, I feel like being an underclassman that just was an embarrassment for me. I just, it was, it was bad. <laughs> Can't really remember much. What about you? A uh, freshman year in Microsoft Office in Mr. Mike Sell's class. I went to get up out of my desk and both of my legs were asleep and as soon as I got up I just fell flat on my face and that was pretty embarrassing. I'd have to say my most embarrassing underclassman moment would be when I accidentally sat in on the wrong class period. When I wasn't making my millions. My most embarrassing underclassman moment was probably freshman year when I went into the boys' bathroom instead of the girls' restroom. <laughs> um, mine would probably be when I fell down the stairs twice my freshman year. Hi, I'm Ripley Lewis. And I'm Braden York. I'm Serena Stastny. I'm Clay Giozzi. I'm Ellie Light. And I'm Cody Bird. I'm Kaylee Duncan. And I'm Alex Lance. Hi, I'm Haley Baker. Hi, I'm Dylan Gilbert. Hi, I'm Hannah Coakley. And I'm Carter Knapp. I'm Lexi Ross. And I'm Parker Allison. <laughs>